The analysis of young Sheldon's success on Netflix makes its upcoming end much more disappointing. Ahead of its much-delayed return, it was announced that young Sheldon will end with season 7, despite its continued success on CBS. The Big Bang Theory prequel was a hit from the get-go, but after it was able to finally find its identity separate from its parent series, it became much more popular. Proof of that is the series' high ratings it posted in Young Sheldon Season 6. While the wait for Young Sheldon Season 7 continues, the family comedy has made its way to Netflix after only being exclusively available on Max, formerly HBO Max. Since arriving on the platform, it has posed impressive viewership numbers, with Young Sheldon Season 1 landing at no. 7 in the top 10 English language television seasons, with 19.3 million hours viewed, followed by season 2 taking the no. 9 spot with 12.1 million hours during the week of November 27 through December 3. Speaking with Yahoo, professor of TV, radio, and film at Syracuse University, Robert Thompson, breaks down this new success emphasizing just how disappointing it is that young Sheldon is ending with season 7. Read his full quote below. Admittedly, young Sheldon hasn't reached the level of popularity that the Big Bang Theory enjoyed at the height of its success, but it has become TV's hash one comedy. Its arrival on Netflix is expected to further bolster its success and increase interest in the upcoming year. Considering how successful it is, there's interest in understanding why CBS is pulling the plug on the show. Unlike usual show cancellations, the network likely didn't have any say in the decision to wrap up Sheldon and the Cooper family story in Medford, Texas. Considering the show's current storytelling, the reason for young Sheldon's cancellation is due to its story approaching its natural end. Because of its prequel nature, the spin-off has long had its predetermined end. Per the Big Bang Theory canon, Sheldon only has a year left in Texas before moving to California and starting his postgraduate studies at Caltech when he returns from his study program in Germany. As he resettles, the show's creatives decided that it's the best time to end the whole show despite the rest of the Cooper family having even more compelling arcs. Once Young Sheldon ends, another The Big Bang Theory spinoff will be released. While it may not come for a while, at least it guarantees that the beloved TV universe will continue after the Coopers say goodbye. Still, there's a strong argument that Young Sheldon needs to continue beyond Sheldon's move to California. For starters, the show has long outgrown its premise as the origin story for the character, becoming more of an ensemble series. Fully embracing it will allow the series to continue its storytelling without being significantly restricted by the Big Bang Theory canon.